what are some things that you should know about this Georgia Florida game? Well, biggest thing that stood out to me, and you can tell me what your opinion is on this, but the first thing we're going to start with is our running game. All right. We had a lot of good things, but we're going to start with this. And then at the very end of the video, we'll get towards the few things I didn't like. There wasn't many things to dislike at all, but if I had to critique, that's where I'll do it. But first thing that I loved, love the running backs. Guys, Dejon Edwards, they have 16 carries for 95 yards. Like great, great performance by him. A make you miss type back. Uh, he doesn't have the burner speed to be able to take it to the house, but it, it's, it fits what we love. It fits that downhill you know, ground and pound type game. Second, Kendall Milton. Guys, Kendall Milton had 13 carries. Like, that that made me smile so much when I saw that because this is the first time we've seen Kendall Milton fully healthy, and we didn't see Cash Jones today. Nothing against Cash, but you saw two primary backs for Georgia, and you saw him rotate out. Dylan Bell got a few carries here and there, but he also got a few reps at receiver, which we saw the touchdown catch he made. Awesome. Uh, he almost broke one at running back. Uh, he almost broke for a touchdown there. And I think Dylan Bell does have the speed to break for one, but just isn't one of the star backs right now. So he's not getting all the carries, which is fine. That's, that's good. So that's, that's what we want. Two, Carson Beck threw for, what was it, 315 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, it may have been like 313, whatever it was. Of course, like I said, Edwards and Milton. Milton had 55 yards and a touchdown. So it was a great overall performance from the offense defensively. We destroyed them defensively. I want to say it was a, a stat that I saw. It was like four drives or five drives where they had a combined like three yards on the drive. It was awesome. Like that was that was it was really, really good to see our defense step up and looking like we know it can be. Um, our secondary is the greatest in the nation. I said that every week, I'll continue to say that. We got some boys that can hit, we got some boys that can cover. I mean, you name it, we got it. Our front seven isn't as strong as it used to be. Um, Pop Johnson and Small Munden are doing their best right now, and I'll give it to them, but definitely not what we're used to. But they're getting there. Uh, you know, good to see them in this game step up and play good. Good to see some of the younger guys get in and play good too. Lad McConkey, six receptions, 135 yards, touchdown. Great to see that man on six receptions get 135 yards. It, that, that's the thing at Georgia that we're seeing is a lot of these good players for us, their yards after catch are great. It's not just the catching and dropping to the ground. Like their yards after catch are, are awesome. Uh, next, Dominic Lovett, four receptions, 83 yards. If somebody told you that you would get 80 yards a night, you'd be okay with it, coming out of high school. But if they told you you were only going to get four receptions, you'd be like, wait, hold on, dude. I want more than four, four targets. Like, No. When you spread the ball around and you can prove that, that's what NFL teams are looking for. Yes, you want the Marvin Harrison Jr. It's, it's amazing. Yes, he is. But – when you can have receivers like that who are so used to, I'm good. I can block, get my four to six receptions a game, but I can give you 80 yards and give you 60 yards and give you 100 yards. Like that, that's awesome. Uh, next, I'll say, I thought Graham Mertz played really good. I did. Now, yes, he, he had fumbles. Yes, their team is not the greatest team. But do you not feel that that team right there is so much better than it was last year with Anthony Richardson? That team, I looked down and it was like, wait, they're five and two coming into this game, and I know they're five and three now. But I was like, whoa, like, I called it. Them having a quarterback that could sustain an offense, sustain drives, would make them a much better team, and that's what it's doing. Nothing different about the roster, except the quarterback. That's it. So give him props for that. But Georgia, we just looked elite today. Uh, a lot of teams around the country that we're seeing, they're struggling. They're not. They don't look elite. And to see us play today and see us play up to that standard, to see people out there picking Florida to beat us, come on, guys. Like, it, the fact that Georgia still gets this much disrespect, it, it, it only fuels it. You fuel the fire. I mean, you literally heard Kirby after the game. He was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't see any of that kind of stuff. And then later he's like, yeah, I got a text before the game. I'm like, yeah, they, you know, they're saying that Florida's going to beat you guys. And then it comes out to be one of my friends. He's talking about Dan Mullen. He's like, well, he didn't like to recruit anyway. It's like. Kirby taking shots. Kirby's a savage. Kirby taking shots. Like, he is a savage. So, I, I love it. Love to see the fuel out of this team. Love to see our offensive line. Love to see the defensive line getting pressure. We had four sacks. Like, just an awesome, awesome day from Georgia. And going forward into this Missouri game, now that is two, what, three games in a row now that our team has been hot. Really starting to pick up the pace going into this second half of the season. Um, and I... I'm, I'm very curious, very curious about the Missouri game. 
I know Missouri is going to be good. I know they are. I know they score a lot of points. But we have a really good defense. And it would be so nice if we could hold Missouri to like 14 points, 17 points, something to where it's like, yeah, but it's Georgia. Like, oh, well, you guys scored on everybody else. But, you know, and that is what it is. We'll see. But I was very impressed by our offense, be able to put plays together. That was awesome. Now, to the disappointing part. I love our offense. I do. I love it. But you guys cannot tell me that there were times where you're like, hey, Bobo, you good, bro? Are you you okay? Like, you you ran the ball three times in a row, and now we got to kick a field goal instead of trying to score. Hey, Bobo, you ran the ball. It, we're on, it's first and goal on the nine. You ran it for two yards. Well, then you turned around and you ran it again. And it's not the running part. Guys, it's not the fact that I'm so disappointed in, hey, don't run the ball or don't pass the ball. It's how you do it. You don't have to have every running play right behind the center. You don't. There are different there are different gaps to run the ball. And it's like, we see us running up the middle, get stuff. Oh, it gets stopped for two yards behind the line. Then you hand it off to the side, and freaking Dejon Edwards goes, and it's a 20-something yard touchdown. Like, it's okay to, to attack different gaps. And the more you attack different gaps, the more you attack the outside, guess what? They no longer are going to be crashing and blitzing down in the middle. In football, when you have a D-line and a D-line coach, they will have calls. They'll have like, okay, hey, this play, we're going to be running cover two. But in this cover two, we're going to be heavy towards the open side of the field. So if we're heavy towards the open side of the field, we don't have a lot of uh, help on the short side of the field. So D-line, I need you to slant towards the short side of the field. Linebackers are covering open. So you're managing that. But the flip side, when they know that we're going to run it after a big play on first and 10, they know we're going to run it up the middle. They don't crash left or right. They crash right in the middle. And it was stuffing that gut. And that's why it was so hard to get, you know, pushed. But, I mean, that that's the only thing that I can nitpick on. Carson Beck looked freaking amazing. That man is calm, cool, and collected, literally. Like, I, I don't I, – there's not really much else you can say except this is what it's like having a great quarterback. Stetson was awesome. I'm not, not taking away from Stetson. But seeing this man have 19 completions but finish with 300 and something yards, like – he constantly is pushing the ball downfield and and making good throws and hitting people over the middle and hitting people out of their routes. Like, it looks good. And it's making defenses have to respect that to where our run game opens up. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs.